Morning guys, Converse here. Welcome back to the channel. If you can't tell what we're here for, look in the upper, I guess on your screen, upper right corner, <laughs> upper left for me. But yeah, Dreamcatcher, Apocalypse Save Us. We're fucking here. Okay, um, I'm already 10 minutes behind. I also gotta catch the concert after this. It's 2.10 in the morning. They hit 50, was it 53,000 sales? On pre, on first day so far on pre-order? Uh, what? <laughs> I'm so proud, I'm so proud. I can't wait to see the rest of the numbers. I can't wait to see if we've potentially achieved new feats or what. Anyways, I'm just excited for this album. We've got seven solos, five group tracks. Let's get into this. Let's get into this, let's do it. It's my first comeback. I am so excited. I'm excited to share this with you guys. Um, I'm gonna try and get this out within the first week, but honestly, I'm gonna be so swamped. You may not see this until the week after. <laughs> but here we go, guys. Without further ado. I'm so excited. <laughs> here we go. Organs. Haunting organ vibe. Okay, okay. Oh, those four, those strings. <laughs> oh. I always kill those intros. Always. So, Lisa and, uh, Olander? I hope I'm saying other names right. I got to mess up for myself, though, too. Feel like I locked inside the door. Starting this over already. I'm starting this over already. Feel like I locked inside the door. Cause so get me mad and say, Come down, it's a watch out for in. In your eat, doing good. I love that piano opening. So I think I noticed there's piano and lock inside a door. I believe that there's piano and maison from what I've heard. So, like, just the like 20 seconds I heard in the lyric spoiler. I'd be intrigued to see if they're using piano throughout and it's kind of one of the cohesive elements throughout, even though despite all the varying, I haven't heard the highlight medley. So despite all the varying um, musical genres in this album, because I've heard there's so much diversity. But anyway, before I get stuck on that, just this already sounds so good. Okay, restarting once more, once more. That piano with Jiu is just amazing. So far. Like the the door. Oh, that's Sua, what am I saying? That's you, that's why. I can see why already this is already so many people's favorites. Yes. Oh, my God. oh my god, I this is gonna be so hype. This is gonna be so excited. Come on, come on, come on, where are we going? Where are we going? This song is such a fucking tease! Oh my god! Okay, we're taking it back a little bit, but... Oh! Where are you going? Oh, 
he's like <laughs> that audio bleep. Okay, I can't wait to get to the lyrics on these at some point. Cause yeah, I'm probably gonna forego lyrics first listen. Um, locked instead of doors. Sick. Sick. <laughs> So much Sue on this, I love it. Get into Mason just yet, or Mason, Mason. We're gonna go to the video in that in just a second, but <laughs> that was literally. I, I think someone described that as jazz bar meets black or white, and it really, really is. Oh my god! I loved the the funky the funky rock feel to it, and they. What I loved was that it wasn't the thing about black or white was that was like a very it was a beat and still very, very, like, hmm. It was, how do I describe the difference between the two? I felt like this was a lot smoother and a lot, like, simmering, boiling, like, getting things going first, whereas Black or White was a lot more of an explosion of, like, funk rock. This is very, I don't want to say restrained, but it's very, it's, like, simmering. I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it. It's like, it's just boiling under the surface before we're about to, like, hit that explosion, which I think is what's going to happen with uh, Mezan. So here we go. Let's get that up. Let's get into that. Oh my god. It's literally been, like, ten minutes. I've only listened to two songs. I gotta, I gotta go faster than this. <laughs> oh, no subtitles? Ooh, no subtitles yet. Okay. No, we gotta do at least this. Thank you. All right, three, two, and one. The maison. This quality, this production already. You can literally come in like Thor. Aliens? What? Oh my god, these visuals. Was that like? I think that was like like electronic waste they talk they're showing here, with like the cracked phone. It definitely looks like an iPhone, some sort of cell phone, smartphone. 
I wonder if that's like a hint towards electronic waste. Okay, wait, we gotta listen to to Davi's verse once more. That was sick. That dress. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. That is a look. That is such a look. That is such a look. Damn, you go. a abrupt bridge, but damn. Tattoos. Yes. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh my god, that was just... I can't wait to see the lyrics, because there's there's probably so much there that goes towards the message of the whole album. But those visuals... I want to go back and, and watch more of it again. I don't have time right at this second, but oh my god. That's the catchiest envi song about envi the environment I have ever heard in my life. I swear to God. That's gonna be stuck in my head. For so long. <laughs> I'm gonna be singing that everywhere. <laughs> um, I especially- everyone looked fantastic. I especially loved, uh, can we listen back to that bridge one more time? That was such a huge, like a dark twist. G looking flawless as always. Okay. But yeah, I got distracted by <laughs> my suit. <laughs> I don't have a chore to say at this point. I'm just... Brains melted. We're running on four hours of sleep. I love this video. Um, there is such high protection value here. I've already said, I think, a lot of what I wanted to say, other than... 
course they got her wearing Chanel. My expensive queen, anyway. <laughs> expensive ice princess dong. Anyway, um, yeah, Maison's a big mood. It, the whole just sonic aesthetic of the production and the track itself, um, It just gives such haunting, impending doom vibes I think fit so well, and they managed to make it so catchy, and they just, they just fucking struck magic again, as they tend to do. Anyway, let's get back to the album, into Starlight. I was excited to hear Starlight because I was like, I just, I don't know why. Maybe I'm just a typical gay. You put something spacey on a track. I'm attracted to it. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is giving me such 80s pop vibes. And if, if you guys haven't watched me on the channel, every time there's anything 80s influenced, I'm, I'm about it. I don't know why I like this new age 80s sound, but I do. And this already 20 seconds in sounds like it, so... Let's go. I love that chorus. Oh my god, I love that chorus. Fuck, the song is so good! <laughs> Play it back a little bit. Play it again. I gotta hear this again. I want to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that was Hand Dog, and that was a doggy. <laughs> that I'm pretty sure that was you. And can I hear that back? Holy shit! I got. I haven't even fully soundproof things. Give me one second. All right, we're going back. Yeah, that's Hand Dog. So good, so good. I'm so proud. I'm so happy. Oh, it's so good. Bridge. 
Another bridge? Or is this the outro? This is the outro, okay. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, don't, don't leave me on that. Okay, I gotta hear that outro just a, once more. This is, this was gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm so happy. Gorgeous. Alright, now we're going into together. Oh? I was not expecting this. Whatever this is about to be. thoughts on together um it's not my favorite of the album so far it might be i don't want to say it's un it's not underwhelming it's just it's a it's pretty much a straightforward kind of like i almost want to say it's not really glitzy but kind of glittery pop track it's not bad uh i feel like coming off of starlight um I kind of wanted a little bit more variance, but that's just me. But everyone sounds so good on it, and it's, it's a vibe. Like, I could definitely put this on, on my playlist and just have this going, and it's it's a great track. Um, I'm interested to see what the lyrics are. I feel like it might, it, it could be either a, a song about love for the group or a song about love for the fans. The tile like together but I mean you could say that interchangeably probably with always as well so oh excuse me I'm so sorry let's keep going because we've got 53 minutes till the concert <laughs> All right. I, don't, I feel like they just added a sample that, I don't know, to me, it added some extra oomph to the song that I think it needed. I'm going to compare it really quick. I think it's just the bass was a lot more subtle in the verses, and then on the chorus it picks up again and gives me that oomph that I really wanted. Okay, I dig it, I dig it. <laughs> Alright, we'll be on that bridge. Just 
喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂喂
This has already become my favorite, favorite of their ballads. I'm just saying. This is com so fucking gorgeous. I can't wait to hear these lyrics or, or read these lyrics on my own. I bet it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> I can't stop saying that's how I wanted <clears throat> to say something in the middle there, but there's that one point, it just gets, I think it's, I don't know if Suba had the bridge or it was like a second verse going into it, but I think it was the bridge, but it just ascended in vocal, like, beauty. I can't even describe everything I heard. I just heard a melding of so many gorgeous voices layered so well together and harmonizing so well together. And, oh my god, that was so fucking that was just art <laughs> that's art that's that was beautiful um yes hands down my favorite ballad of dreamcatcher um let's get to this outro and then you know what? we're gonna cut that for part one of this and then we're gonna get to the solos because i only have 40 minutes to go for that we are going so slow on this all right Let's do it. Outro. I guess not really outro, it's Skit the Seven Doors.
<laughs> yeah! Alright, that's the first half of Dreamcatcher, Apocalypse Save Us, second full album, first with Handong, first OT7 album, okay. So far for the first half, this is an incredible piece of work. Um, that's, all, that's all I can really leave my thoughts at, it's so varied, there's so many different genres. Like, I like that they're mixing in a lot of... And maybe some fans might be upset by this, but I it's not that I like that they're distancing themselves from the rock, necessarily. But I like that they're just allowing themselves to do whatever they want. They're five years into their career, like... And to be honest, I can't think of any artist that is five years into their career and they usually stick with the same sound. At some point you grow, at some point you evolve, and you want to try other genres and sounds and things, and... I think they're doing it very, very well, while still, at some points, keeping some of that rock element. And maybe it's not a traditional rock element, but it's something that provides that same vibe and aesthetic that underlyingly is, is still Dreamcatcher. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's it for my thoughts on Apocalypse Save Us. I'm calling it part one for this. Um, we're gonna pause this here, and then we'll do the solos and the second full reaction. Anyway, I got 36 minutes to do this. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Peace.